What is up everyone? This is Sperry, and I need to clarify some things about this video before we even begin. So first of all, this is going to be a very rare type of video. I do not want to spam these kinds of videos like I did on my old channel. I want to make them extremely rare if I ever make another one at all. This video is basically going to be giving you guys an update on my actual life. So if you're not concerned about that, if you guys just like watching my Toontown content, Please don't watch this. There's no reason for you to. You're literally just wasting your time watching this. The only reason I'm making this is just because some part of me feels like I need to. And you know what? If, if it doesn't interest you, that's completely fine. I respect that. I completely understand. I recommend you don't waste your own time. Just don't watch the video if you're not concerned about that. And also, this video will probably probably be a little bit of a downer. So again, if you're not someone who really likes negativity at all, in any form, even if it's honest. Um, again, this probably just isn't the video for you to watch, and I think you would be better served not sitting through this one. So I just wanted to get that out of the way so we don't have any doubts about what this video is going to be like, and now I'll get into what I want to say. So, so far in college, it's been really hard for me. And I, it's completely my fault, by the way. It's not the fault of anyone else. It's not the fault of my professors. It's not the fault of the people around me. I can't blame any of this on anything other than the fact that I'm just not getting done what I have to get done. And I'm not sure what the solution is, but it all comes down to me and just me. It's in no way the fault of anything around me. I have unbelievable resources to help me with unbelievable people I'm around. It's just somehow it's not working. I'm not doing well enough. I'm not smart enough. I don't know what's going on, but I I I'm just not learning anything. And I think it has a lot to do with my scheme of the way I'm thinking mentally, but it, it's just fucking terrible. I mean, I show up to class, and I, I'm just lost. I don't know if the fuck's going on. I can't comprehend anything going on. I, I get anxiety attacks when I have to share out, and I, I just freeze up, and I can barely get through the fucking basic demonstrations and participations in Spanish 1, which I've taken like four times. I've legitimately tried to take Spanish like four times, and I've either failed or dropped out of it every single time. I don't know. I feel like I have a learning disability or something when it comes to foreign language. It's fucking stupid. I don't even know what to say, but it's just, I'm trying again. I'm doing the homework. I'm memorizing my words for two hours a night, going through all the exercises, the grammar. Really, I go to office hours to try to comprehend stuff and just somehow I, I don't get anywhere. I don't learn what I need to learn and I show up and I'm literally, without a doubt, I, I'm the worst one in the entire class in there, and it's not even close. Like, these people can speak, they can comprehend, they can do the exercises. Yeah, whole basic conversations. It's not even like they're doing anything extraordinary, but somehow I'm not at that level. I'm just not thinking as quickly or as sharply as they are. My mind doesn't seem to work at the same speed as the students at Berkeley. And it scares the shit out of me. I'm not going to lie, it scares the absolute shit out of me. Because I'm graded on a curve with my peers, as I should be. That's the way that most educational systems, higher educational systems work. And so I need to do at least as well as the average peer in my class just to get a respectable grade. I'm talking like a B or a B minus. I have to, you know, surpass my peers, which is never going to happen, but I'd have to get that to get an A. I, I just want to make it through. My, my concern is whether or not I can even make it through class with how completely fucked up my ability to learn is so far. And I, I don't know what to, what's going on. Same thing in math. Like... All this shit for the problems. It's like, I don't know. We're doing super basic stuff. I've covered calculus for years in high school. And yet still, when I get thrown into it in college, it's like, I'm in the absolute most basic calculus course I retook it. And I'm still fucking in over my head because at Berkeley, they don't give you the basic problems. They give you the hardest ones possible for each concept, which is good. It pushes you. That's the way it should be. But I, I just have always struggled to attain that highest level of comprehension and just getting through those really tough problems. I can get through like 50% of them maybe, but it's just it's just not good enough. I'm not nailing all these things I should be nailing despite putting in the work. I haven't made a video in a week, if you guys have noticed, because I've just been sitting down every day studying for probably at least eight hours a day. And only for two classes too. I have an extremely light and easy workload compared to most people, but somehow it's just not fucking working. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I, I think I, I think I'm just somehow, the, the, it's not the amount of time I'm spending or the effort, it's just somehow it's not going into my mind, and I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I need to 
figure out a way to learn better because it's completely on me, but I'm not getting where I need to be. I'm not satisfied with my performance and my progress. And it's not because I think I can do better than that. It's because I need to do better than that. It's not an ego thing. I, I just know I need to get through this or else I'm wasting a ton of time and a ton of money going here. And I can't afford to do that. <laughs> At the end of the day, I, I just want a fucking job, man. Like, I, I don't care if I'm not the most rich, successful, or smart person here. Even if I'm in this 80th percentile in all those categories. I just want to get a job. I want to get through. I want to, you know, have enough money to live on my own and not be dependent on others. But that's my dream because... I don't want to fuck this up, and somehow everything I'm doing is just screwing it up. Depend, no matter, it's not about the difficult the amount of time I've been spending working because everything, especially the last week or two, I've been putting in the work. In fact, based on what I've seen around me, I've been putting in at least 70th percentile. Okay, not it's not 70th. I've been putting in an above average amount of work. Certainly not the absolute most, but I've been putting in an above average amount of work, and I've been just performing dead last in everything so far. It, it's a new feeling for me. I've never had this level of failure before in my life. I'm not sure what's what causes it, what's going on, but I mean, I had to work really hard in high school. It was not easy for me, but when I put in that hard work, I was rewarded for it. I was a very good student in high school, but right now, me working hard, putting in that work, the reason why I'm not being rewarded is not because of anything else. I don't deserve it. A good, I don't deserve a good outcome just because I put in the work because everyone else is putting in the work too. Just for whatever reason, that work that I'm putting in, I guess, combined with factors like emotional state, intelligence, all that, it's just not enough. For whatever reason, it's just not enough. And I take full responsibility for that. I'm not getting the material into my head to the level of detail it needs to be there. If that's on me. It's not on anyone else. I need to adhere and uphold to the standards around me. And that, that, that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. So that's put a lot of stress on me. I, I have a really tough time sleeping. I have a really tough time focusing. I've been getting panic attacks because I'm so scared of screwing this up. And I'm already screwing it up. It's like that feeling of, I'm sure you guys have had, some of you have had this feeling, but you're doing something wrong and every day it just keeps going on that way, no matter even if you try to fix it. It's a very hopeless feeling. And... Probably the hardest part for me is that I don't have anyone to blame but myself. I've been given every opportunity. I've been so fucking blessed and lucky to have the opportunities that I have, and I'm still fucking it up. And that fucking hurts, because I have no one to blame for but myself. That, that's the honest truth. I just have no one to blame but myself, and it, it's looking like there might not be a lot of YouTube activity, because it, it just it's unfathomable, it's unthinkable for me to sit there, right? For me to sit there and, like, I'm not doing well in class, right? I need to keep studying my shit to do better. And I'm deciding between studying to pass the shit that I'm paying thousands of dollars a semester to do, or alternatively choosing to log on to Toontown and do a fucking back nine that has no impact on my life whatsoever. I'm pretty sure, for me at least, that decision is pretty easy. I'm going to be sitting there, maybe futilely, but at least trying to improve my circumstances in life. So... It's really hard for me to justify playing any amount of Toontown whatsoever, even five minutes, when I know that time could be spent doing something else. It's even hard for me to justify making a video, but I, I, I enjoy making videos. They, they give me a different perspective. I think they teach me things that doing other things don't. So I'm more likely to continue making the videos than I am to continue playing video games, I feel like. But videos are obviously going to slow down if this keeps up. And so... I don't know what the issue is, but because I think in part all this school stress, as well as, you know, being in a new environment, I'm sure has something to do with it. Being around all these people who I feel like are just better than me in so many ways. They're so social and friendly and wonderful. They have such well-rounded skills and talents. I mean, the only reason I got into the school I got into was purely because I was supposed to be good at this stuff. I was supposed to be academically above average for this school, but that obviously hasn't been the way it's panned out. So I'm really starting to question why I'm here, how I got here, because really I'm just directly inferior to everyone around me in almost every way it feels like so far. And we'll, we'll have to see about that. I don't know how that's going to work out, but that, that's a serious concern for me. And this anxiety that I'm feeling over, over fucking up, over feeling inadequate, it, it's, it's a really 
difficult thing for me to deal with. So I've actually had generalized anxiety disorder for a long time in my life. I'm a very neurotic person. If you don't know what that means, it means that I'm someone who is very, I, I get very nervous and very anxious about everything. And I, I take things to a very extreme. I'm very worried. I'm like, I guess you could call me sort of like someone who prepares for the apocalypse, but I treat everything like it's the fucking apocalypse. And then when the actual apocalypse happens like it is now, it's just unbearable to me. It, it paralyzes me. I stop being able to think because I'm so scared and so afraid. I, I Honestly, my brain just shuts down because of how afraid I am. And the, 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 I mean, the medication I was prescribed for my anxiety just doesn't work. It actually makes me more anxious and it just clouds my mind because the way that anti-anxiety meds work is they shut off a portion of your cognitive capabilities of your brain because the reason why at least for my anxiety is my mind starts racing uncontrollably and I get nervous and my endocrine glands start putting out a bunch of fucking shit I don't remember the exact hormones because I haven't done physiology in a little bit but basically it's a way of slowing down your nervous system in particular to make you less nervous but that has cognitive limitations so after I take my anti-anxiety meds, I can't even focus even if I want to because it's just too hard to fucking study. So anyhow, like I, I have so much trouble sleeping because of the anxiety that I feel that I've actually gotten a prescription for medical marijuana and I use that just to sleep. Like a lot of nights, if I just can't go to sleep after a few hours, I have no choice but to fucking, you know, eat some marijuana or smoke something or some shit like that because if I don't do that, I'll just be up all night. And that's terrible. Like, I don't know what to say. It's, 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 it's a really tough situation when you're so afraid that you can't study and you can't sleep and you can't have, like, one fucking rational thought. And you know what? All this is my fault. I don't want to make it seem like my circumstances are that much worse. I'm sure many of you watching have lots of your own very serious problems. And, you know, quite honestly, everyone's got some fucking issues, you know? I don't want to make it seem like I'm fucking special or anything like that, because I'm not. This is just my particular issue. Everyone has their fucking issues. A lot of people have issues that are a lot more directly serious, such as, you know, issues at home, issues with development that you can't control, genetic issues. There are a lot of things in your life that you can't control that are just fucked up. The reason why I'm upset is because I have no one to blame but myself. Because if I had an issue that was just fucked up and there's nothing I could do about, like let's say traumatic death in the family, I had a really bad childhood, I don't know, I was born with a defect, some shit like that, sure, I could just be upset about that. There's no reason, it, it's tragic, it's traumatic, but all my problems were not caused by bad luck or just a shitty situation. They were caused by me. That's why it fucks me up, I think. But you know what? I don't want to make this a fucking pity party. I'm just explaining a little bit about my life, venting, getting it off my chest. That's all I want to do. This is not going to be the norm. I do not plan on making any more of these fucking videos because you know what? I just want to say it once, one and done. That's all there is. I don't want to make this every fucking week. This will be the only one. I'm not going to bring it up again in any other videos. I'm not even going to give you any insights. So if you're wondering why I'm not talking about college, any of that shit, the reason why I'm not talking about it is because it's not going so great and it stresses the shit out of me and I don't know how it's going to turn out. I might end up actually needing to transfer out of Berkeley and either take some time off of school altogether or switch to a community college because this is just too stressful. I don't think I can make it through at this rate. I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. I don't even know if I'm going to pass my classes this term. That's a little early to say because we have only had midterms. We haven't had any final exams. And obviously that could shift a lot. My midterms I performed completely shit on. I just blanked out. For my math midterm, I think I got, like, less than one question out of six correct, which is fucking terrible. Considering how much experience I have in calculus, it's fucking terrible. But it was not a tough midterm. I just blanked and froze and got nervous. But it's very likely that I'm going to either just take time off college entirely together, think about my life, think about what the fuck I'm going to do, or switch to a community college where obviously the pressure will be a lot lower. I'll probably have a much better academic background than the majority of the people around me. And I should have the ability, if I study there, to get pretty good grades, if not perfect grades. So I'm considering doing that just to relieve some fucking stress and then maybe go for another more selective college later on. Maybe not even Berkeley again. But 
th that's pretty much where I'm at. And I, I just wanted to let that... I'm sorry, this is getting really fucking repetitive. And I don't really have a lot of time to edit this video because I gotta go back to studying. So I apologize for the fact that this is rambly. I would have loved to edit this up. Make it fucking better for you guys. But I really don't have the time to do that. I hope you understand. But that's it. Just wanted to say how I've been doing. Kind of my circumstance. Once again, this will not be mentioned in any other videos. I'm not gonna keep bringing it up. This is not going to be your fucking daily week thing. I know you guys have probably seen Sky Williams. He does this thing where for like months at a time, he's a league YouTuber, but he would just keep mentioning his fucking depression to his viewers. And I understood why he did it. These thoughts are pretty obsessive. They're always on your mind, you know, when you feel like, in this case, I'm talking about anxiety, but same thing for a depression. Those kind of thoughts can be on your mind and you keep wanting to bring them up. But I, I don't think it's appropriate for me to just keep bringing this on you guys. I just wanted to mention it once. And that's all it's going to be. It's just going to be a one-time thing. And... Just wanted to let you guys know. I plan on having a video that will be Toontown related. It'll either be gameplay content or rant. Something along those lines. I hope on having that one out by this coming weekend. That is my absolute goal. I have a pretty good feeling I'm going to make that deadline. I hope you guys enjoy that video when it comes. And I hope that this video wasn't too painful for you guys to fucking listen to. I apologize if it was. But thank you for watching. Thank you so much for all your support. I love you guys. I mean, that's probably why I felt like I had to make this video. Just because I love you guys and I wanted to keep you updated on something very important in my life. But I, I, this is not going to be a regular occurrence. So, Thank you. Sorry for the rambling video. Goodbye.